now I invite the uh, next uh, uh, speaker. Uh, he is uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Firdosh Malik from Kashmir. Uh, he is doing his, uh, he is MPhil in economics and currently doing PhD from Central University Lucknow. And uh, he will speak on financial literacy and financial behavior of the poorest among the poor. He has chosen beggars and slum dwellers of Lucknow and uh, other areas. And uh, it's a uh, matter of happiness to see someone who had actually uh, gone to uh, do research in this area. His topic is assessment of P and J D Y on the yardstick of microfinance. Mr. Man. Let us see what these policies have led towards the poor. So, 
others, these are friends. And they are known as ten rupees, five rupees, and three hundred rupees. So five percent are not alive for you know. They are living, they are dying. For example, they need known for this health, health condition. There is some emergency of health condition, they need known. Nobody will them known because they can be part of before their hand is also. For example, I take hundred rupees from my friend, I will pay. My condition is that I am not going to pay that. So their friends do not be here. And the friends of these people, their, their relatives, the neighbors of these people are also poor. So you cannot help me, I cannot help you. So they remain in their traps, trap of the circle of poverty. So even when bankers are believing that they are unbanked of the population, they can't do good in the system. So they have no purpose at home for what they need finished. Family expenditures to eat food, they need no money. Five percent people need loan for business. What is business for them? It does not have the rules of the rules of investment. The businesses who work somewhere to feed their family are seven. They need loan for business. And they there are other purposes for which they are having a need of money. Then need of insurance is not good. As I yesterday told that it is a typical target insurance. So when I went ground level, I have seen that awareness, how aware are these people, destitute people, who don't even school any time, who are totally illiterate. How how many they are aware about this thing? If you see 70% don't know what is insurance, they are confusing. This is that time like this. So some of the good percentage, like five percent, were aware by tenants, and twenty-three by tenants. As there is insurance, it is a risk cover and like this. So if you see the big range, big population is out. They don't know about that. This awareness. The question arises: How we can include these literate people, the the group which is considered not a part of the system? The group who have many challenges, how can we tell them about this insurance? Because we are talking about financial inclusion. So it is a part of the financial inclusion we should take care of these people also. So insurance policy adopted from the group. So it is also very less life insurance policy, the higher higher rate is 88 percent people and 3 percent for health and 2% for house insurance. There is, a, there is a one story I want to share with you. There was one person in Salam Lakhna, he told me, I was Sohara, there is some Sohara company, she, he have this adopted this life insurance. He said that due to displacement, they are unsettled population. They have been displaced by the government in Salam. Here and here, the government is uh, against the near back. Now we have to shift to other place. So due to that, he has misplaced his documents. The insurance that he was, he, he have taken the, this insurance and he misplaced it. As as the sole this, as the sole owner of this insurance policy, when she didn't give him the money, he have he have saved twenty thousand money till thirty years. So when didn't give him money back, this insurance company didn't give him money back because he was not having the documents. For example, if I lose important documents, I will tell that yes, this is my source, I am from this and the poor people they are not the part of the system. Get out, they are too long to help. So we should have the humanitarian feelings, we should work on this humanitarian base, we should listen to them. They, then we can only make some improvement. Then service of money transfer, there is also many good questions about this service of money transfers, how poor people are transferring their money. For example, poor people are working in rural areas, urban areas, so they are having family. They need to send money back. Okay? So how they are transferring? They don't have money account. If they have accounts, they are not fully dedicated to handle that account. They need help back to bank. 
So they are, they are losing their time, basically. And people are not so much helpful to see them. There are people, there are people who, who, are, who are working voluntarily. But maximum people are there, they don't have time because of the consumption of life, modernity. So these people remain there. They have to wait for hours and hours in the bank so that some, some emotional feeling will come to the health. So do you have bank account 47%? No and 43% yes, we have the So then, then there arise again questions that they are having bank accounts. Then there arise questions that the bank accounts are working, which service they are using. So we are, we are again a question marks of these people. If no, how do you transfer money? If you have bank accounts, how do you transfer money to the home families? 39% big data, 39% we are not <coughs> using yes, transfer service. 14% for banks and 38% they, they are themselves sending money by, by themselves they go to home and by cash. And 90% others bank account, others bank account is here. Then for example, I am having a bank account and please tell that I have to send my money to my parents. I use this account. <coughs> They are getting charges for that. I will take 100 rupees from you, then I will make you a transaction by my account. So there are things they are getting char charges to transfer this. Then need of micro leasing for the poor. Now again, awareness of micro leasing. Do you know about micro leasing? 55% no, 45% yes. No, it means yes, they are in there. Micro leasing that. So there should not be confusing that people use the right name. Unko pata hai micro leasing hai. And then who provides micro leasing? Sarta up to 6 percent. Koi nahi kar raha hai, koi they are not having. 9 percent from banks, 1 percent from money lender, and 14 percent from business personnel. So these are the securities that we have. So to make my strategy more beautiful, I have tried vitalized model. In this model, I have used three models. One model is banking. Bank account. What is the relationship of bank account with social economic characteristics? So the model shows that there are insignificant recessions because we are talking about poorest of the poor. For example, if we talk about common sense, common sense that literate person, the more educated a person, there should be chances that we should have a bank account. There should be none. But my security is telling that there is negative. No, it is not necessary. We have to see here which population we are talking. The population is totally different. It is integrated. So, yes, they, may are, they are like, yes, we are educated. What is their education? Is it parent friendly education? Is it higher secondary? Or are they literate? So, the question arises which education, which standard of education is a guarantee that a person should have a benefit? Which education can guarantee that he is, he is having a bank account? So therefore, all the results are negative, and it shows that they are having miseries of life. Accounts and never worth the scale. So, for example, if we talk about this occupation, the good occupation a person is having, the more chances he may have bank account. So here again it shows negative results that no, it is not serious. Why? Because these poor are engaged in side type of occupations where they, they don't work full time. For example, they have to work on you know art, art weather, they have they have to seek their work due to rainy season, they have to seek their work due to illness. So they, they have they are having miseries of life. So we cannot we cannot make on it every but it's their monthly income. Sometimes their income is yes, they, they are working for 30 days. Sometimes they will work on the two days. Then they are working in the farming sector. Sometimes they are not getting money. So due to security purpose, as they are going to put a political scenario in this, due to security reasons, all our identification and this terrorism in the economy, terrorism at the political level, these persons highly get job to work within the families. Yeah, yeah, why of my identity card because our identification card, you have two photographs, I can tell you why you are. So, they are basically in the center of each other. So, 
दूसरा मॉडल सर फाइनेंशियल एक्सेस बैंक अकाउंट एंड फाइनेंशियल डेवलपमेंट व्हाट इज द रिलेशनशिप सो इफ यू अगेन सी दैट नेगेटिव रिलेशनशिप ओनली माय रिलेशनशिप इज हैविंग सम पॉजिटिव रिलेशनशिप सो लोन फ्रॉम बैंक्स इट इज दे आर नॉट व्हाट आर द सिस्टम एंड सर दे आर दे आर नॉट इन दिस Work with us. Don't so all these stories are telling that they are they are feared to be in heavy to work with us. And the third model is financial behavior. How banking account is playing the role in that financial behavior. If we see the studies, the only saving for illness and accidents are showing some. Better significance. Yes, they are saying. The rest is they are not. Again, I will point uh, highlight the point. The people are living from mouth to hand. They don't are in a position to save. People don't believe them to give them credit, and they need mostly credit for to fulfill their their daily routine activities. And lastly, some gaps in this that are not being addressed. What are the gaps? The gaps are <coughs> people are not the bank accounts are still are empty. The new generation is not good and the rural areas. So, and the banking culture, banking culture and people there at rural areas are financially intrigued. These are the problems. Then there is overdrafting as well. There are two questions, two critical questions. One is that government is telling that. After success of six months, after success of six months, we will provide five percent as a loan. So the first question arises: that what is the guarantee? What is the precaution that they will not give a default? They will repay this loan. This is one question. Second question is: why the poor after capacity on the five thousand? Why not more than that? Why not as per the capacity and capability of these persons? So these are the two different questions. Then insurance facility. Insurance has been in as a common thing. So again, poor it is a good system that makes it a complementary. But poor people really desire. They want to pay for their services. They want to pay. So our micro and insurance should be sustainable. So for example, this scheme is till 2018. What about 2018? Is there some modification? Are will it run through long run? And this, this, there is, uh, I have been feeling that whether this overdraft facility is only for one time or second time they will get. So this, this again arises the question. Then there is money transfer. In money transfer, mobile. We are talking about mobile. Mobile is a technology is there. Technology we has been defined. Um, lot of rules is here, and the beauty has. It has extended so much lenses, so many work have done by the technical department, particularly in India. So there arises receipts, operational receipts to handle the bank accounts via mobile phone. Because we are talking about phone, we are talking about back to the population here. So there are options to discuss. We have to see them. How we can manage, how we can provide them. Then, then adaptation of DC model can. Help us, but there needs modification. Here I got so many this news news in the media that this BC person, the banking director and this banking correspondent, because of huge work, they are charging these poor people that just give us fifty rupees. And like this news came in the newspaper. So again, they are getting their service paid. So we have we have to correct it again. So finally, this. The findings of the security that minor and senior citizens have been ignored by this PM lady one because to have a bank account one should have been 18 years old, so children are not really excluded from this population. And the senior citizens have over the age of 60s, they have been excluded. So this is the this these are the provisions in the amendment that upper senior citizens and minors they couldn't be part of this scheme. And one over overall profit facility. There is also a question: What is this overall profit facility for all? For example, if I will do good with banking, 
I have a bank account and I have a deposit account. I will get only 5,000 as a one property facility and the other who have done nothing is same as the deposit account. So there should be some provision, this modification should be that the better the person will do, the better the he will get. Okay. Banking penetration is not complete yet, it is also the point. So use of digital technology directly executed for our own project. So if we see this, this Mukesh Ambani, Jio, Jio network from last to two years, it is the past to the world, yes, yes, it is the beauty of this great industrial history, it is providing such services. So if we see, the minor is the poor people have been excluded at all. The question here is the house is also people to are it is because cost to service. How they have been excluded? They have been excluded, yes, they are getting 4 BCM free of five. But to handle that 4 BCM, they need 6,000, less than 6,000 to have zero this form. So they have been excluded. So the product was not helpful to the poor. So, under PMJDY, if you see the demonetization, demonetization has also played a bad role, which have played deaths of more than 100, 100 people. Because of this, if there was ban of withdrawals, withdrawals have been set up for demonetization. So, so it again questions the government that those people, for example, we are, we are having group of poor people who entered PMJDY. They have saved their money and they need their money for illness, accident, and due to demonetization caused to release it after. So, why the poor nobody will listen to So, the cause was more than 100 deaths. So, there was no very often in capital in Sardam and Vijayan. It is again the question that the rules we are making for the public who gets impacted, then back it is only the poor people. The normal people and the higher richer people they are managing their food by saving their relatives. So we should take care of this. Again, serious question, documentation is itself making a problem to enter the, to include the public. It is again the question for financial inclusion. What we are talking about financial inclusion. So government should take some attention towards it that how we can overcome this problem of documentation. Whether we have to consider that Yes, they are the citizens of India, whether or not. Then we should we have a popular term in economics. If we can't help these people, we should we should tell them this. We should modify the definition of financial inclusion. Other things remaining the same. That financial inclusion, martial health, invited that other things remaining the same. Then we should talk about the definition of financial inclusion. Financial inclusion is directly for the poor people. But we are highlighting the people of South Africa. That is again the research question for the policymaker. Accidental insurance is also very happy to get because through the documentation we have to get the documents from the health department, from, from the particular bank. So it involves a lot of hectic process. And lastly, I will put some those civil services of convenience, bank withdrawal. If we regulate bank withdrawals in a good direction, if we educate them to work with. And for Dr. Passage, he should be productive economically as per the as per the capacities and capabilities of the people. Lastly, mobile technology should be provided with a very high security. Because if we, if we see, I, I want to share one more one more thing with you. In Jar, what happened? The lady who died, three ladies died because of starvation, because their Russian guard was not fully injured with that. So this, this is the misery in such a country where we are talking about development. Yes, yeah, development is there. People are working hard. System is trying to work. But they are again, how to work with those who, are, who do not know ABC of the technology. So we reach, we policy makers should take care of them. So because human capital is there. We should try to be human. And operational risk we have to see. Thank you.